I want to talk about the one drop rule because the one drop rule doesn't apply to mixed black people like me but it would more likely apply to people like this Kelly Curtis an Olympian skeleton athlete let me explain the one drop rule was a tool of racial classification primarily used in the 19th and 20th century and it was used to qualify and quantify who was black and the rule was if you had one drop of black blood then you were black some words they used to do this were mulatto quadroon and octoroon words that we don't use anymore a mulatto would be somebody who has about 50 percent black ancestry and about 50 percent white ancestry or one black parent and one white parent a quadroon would have one quarter black ancestry and three quarters white ancestry and an octoroon is somebody who would have had one eighth black ancestry. So if we were looking at their great grandparents, it might look like they had one black great grandparent and seven white great grandparents. And they would be considered legally black, even though it's very unlikely that they would look black. So the one drop rule wouldn't apply to me. It wouldn't apply to my child if my partner was white. It would apply to my child's child if my child's partner was white. And Kelly Curtis has openly stated that she does not want to be regaled as the first black skeleton Olympian. She recognizes that she has black ancestry, she recognizes that she is biracial, and she recognizes that she is not phenotypically black. These are Kelly Curtis's parents, and the news outlets that I've read have described her dad as black, and I do not know him, or how he identifies, or what his parents look like, but it would make sense that Kelly would come out looking the way that she looks. And while I do think that we should let multiracial people identify in the way that they want to identify based on their own life experiences, I do also think that calling Kelly Curtis the first black Olympian in the sport of skeleton is black erasure. I think even somebody that looks like me taking up too much space in blackness or being the face of blackness is also black erasure. Am I saying that Kelly Curtis or Kelly Curtis's father are not black? No. Am I saying that Kelly Curtis should be the black face of skeleton? No. And she doesn't think so either.